morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family Channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. And yes, when I get the chance to take and record one of these videos while it's snowing, I will wait a few hours to it snowing, and then I will record the video. And now you can enjoy this beautiful white landscape here while it's snowing. It's not that really cold, it's like it's five or something, but a lot of snow fell in the last couple of hours. Like you can see, it's like deep, snow deep. In today's video, guys, we're gonna talk about Bitcoin blockchain and life. I have four amazing Bitcoin charts. I have a trading tip, I have some travel tip. I have live advice on answering two questions of the followers and talking about the news because somebody just stole $2.5 billion worth of crypto and it's going into jail. Now let's quickly jump into the charts first to show you exactly what is happening to Bitcoin. I hope you are enjoying my new Bitcoin family beanie over there guys maybe I should do it like this the orange of Bitcoin with it but then you don't see my face anymore so let's quickly jump into the charts first bam The first chart for today, guys, is of course a four hour chart. Look how beautifully that is playing out, just like I said that it would be playing out a little bit later. Not a perfect inverse head and shoulder, but it is a head inverse head and shoulder. And we are targeting now, of course, that 72K level, which is a resistance. If we break that, we will go to the next part of resistance, which is around 73,600. And if we break that, 77K is the next play for Bitcoin. Just like I told you guys, we were going up. Now, Yesterday's video, we talked about the monthly close. I said to you, the monthly close in five days and 14 hours is a very important close. That candle yesterday looked completely different. We had a very tiny body and a large wick. Because of this Bitcoin pump from 64K all the way up to 70K, now it looks like a very bullish candle. Of course, I'm still gonna give away the free t-shirt to one of the guys that uh, answered the questions correctly yesterday's video. But to show you this, because I wanna show you the candle that we saw yesterday before um, I continue with doing that. So amazing to see that this bullish monthly close is ahead of us and that will mean fireworks, guys. Fireworks, that's my second part of the bull market. Huge run for the Bitcoin price after the halving. Now let's quickly jump into those charts that I want to show you. This is the first one. A lot of you people answered yesterday, it was a hanging man or it was a hammer. A hanging man is showing you the reversal at the top and the hammer is showing you the reversal at the bottom. It was both not the correct answer because the correct answer is on this chart. Because the correct answer was on this chart. On this chart you can see on top over here, it was a shooting star candlestick. We had a large wig on the top and a small body on the bottom and that means bearish. That means we are going down. Because now the candle changed in this beautiful green candle, completely filled, it's not a shooting star anymore and that is very positive for the next upcoming months. Because if that monthly candle would have closed like this, that would have meant that we would have a few bearish months after this month. So what we see at the moment on the charts is very positive. So the correct answer was a shooting star candlestick pattern that we were seeing formed. I'm gonna give one t-shirt away to one of the people that had that correct answer. Now, this chart, very important. We can see that we have now already 11 days without an all-time high. 11 days without an all-time high. The all-time high at the moment is 73,950 US dollar. Um, at the moment, we are at 70,900 US dollar. So, yes, we are now already 11 days without an all-time high. How many days will it take before we create a new all-time high above that 75K level? Beautiful chart. Then we have this chart showing you exactly what I told you as well. We had a head and shoulder here on the bottom, continuation pattern. Again, here the head and shoulder, continuation pattern, major resistance around 73,800. When we break that, guys, we will see the next move to like this because there was also a major resistance at this area at that moment. We broke it, we went up. We will break it and we will go up, guys. Last chart of the day, of course, realized price change for plan B. Um, this chart is very important because the realized price always indicates where we are in the bull market. These green dots are telling us that we are just getting started. We were just getting started over there. We were just getting started over here. We were just getting started over there. And I'm just getting started over here. We need to be looking forward to these yellow and red dots that will bring us to a new autumn high I believe above 100k. That's still 30k profit per Bitcoin that you buy today. And if you want to buy that Bitcoin, then please buy those Bitcoins on Bybit. The link is down below. You can claim up to 30,000 US dollar bonus. Plus, they have an amazing 
contest at the moment where you can win up to four million dollar USDT if you do trade a little bit. The halving guys is going to be in 25 days and 19 hours and 21 minutes somewhere around that. That will be on the 20th of April. Cool date 2004-2024. So that's a cool date for the halving. I hope you really enjoyed the charts. Yes, the charts showing you in the short term volatility exactly the target that I told you that we would hit 70K and now the next target would be 75 to 77K. We should be easily reaching these targets if that volume on the spot ETFs, also the retail investors and everything else keeps going up and growing like it's doing at the moment. So I am very positive that we will visit the 77K level somewhere in the near future, guys. So yes, always trust those charts. The charts tell you exactly where we want to go. Not the news, not all the emotions, only TA. Now let's jump into the trading tip. Before I start the trading tip, guys, I'm going to stand somewhere where it's covered because I don't know if the DJI is even waterproof. Maybe it will break down and I want to keep filming with the DJI because I'm very satisfied about the results. So I'm going to hear in this little, little cabin where the snow can't touch my DJI. So the trading tip for the day is always keep an eye on the trendy stuff in this industry. And at the moment, the spot ETF is the trendy stuff. You can see the huge volume coming from all the spot ETF companies. Grayscale being one of the biggest ones, guys. And because Grayscale is so big, we need to keep an eye on the in and outflows of Grayscale. And Grayscale has been dumping a lot of Bitcoins, almost 4,000 Bitcoins a day already since that the spot ETF opened. And that's because a lot of people want Grayscale to sell the Bitcoins because the fees are too high at Grayscale. Now, BlackRock, is the, becoming the biggest spot ETF offer now. They are going to overtake Grayscale in a couple of months time, in my honest opinion, because they will own more Bitcoins than Grayscale owns. And in the far future, I think BlackRock will even own more Bitcoins than Grayscale has ever owned. These spot ETFs are serious business. It's insane volume what they are bringing to the market. So keep an eye on these trends. That is my trading tip for the day. We can see Grayscale is almost done dumping, only 170 million, 150 million, 200 million a day, and BlackRock and the others are keep pumping volume into the industry. 800 million, 600 million, 700 million worth of Bitcoins buy power every day. This is insane volumes, so always watch these trends. That is the trading tip for today. Let's see how long it will take before BlackRock will overtake Grayscale in the amount of Bitcoins that they hold. The travel tip for today, guys, is if it snows, go outside and play with that snow. It doesn't snow that often, for example, in the Netherlands or Germany. So when it snows, go and enjoy the snow. Fuck your job, fuck all the things that are on your list that need to be done, groceries, whatever it is, go and enjoy that snow. You live now, you live in the moment. That is the most important travel tip I can give you. When you're traveling and you encounter these situations that you don't encounter often, like this beautiful, amazing view. Check this snow. When you encounter this, go and enjoy it. Don't think, oh, it's too cold, I'm not going outside. Dress to go outside. Buy yourself a beautiful ski jacket, go outside, play in the snow, enjoy the beautiful nature, enjoy making beautiful pictures in this nature. There's a travel tip for today. Whenever something beautiful, unique, comes to your path when traveling, don't say no, never say no. Always say yes. Grab that opportunity to experience something very unique that you are not experiencing often. Always say yes. Please. My hands are freezing almost, so I need to continue to the next part of the video. Oh shit, it's really cold. <laughs> Fuck the DJI, I will buy a new one when it breaks. I'm gonna go outside. I like to be in the snow. <laughs> Guys, um, the answering of two questions. The first question was of one of the followers. He was like, very critic. He was like, hey Didi, but if you have safety wing as an insurance, by the way, safety wing is the best digital nomads insurance out there. If you travel, check the link down below to safety wing. If you use that link, you will get a bonus. Safety wing is the best digital nomad insurance that there is. Now, he is like, but if they want to pay you because you have a claim, how do they pay you if you don't have a bank account? They don't pay me. If I claim, they pay directly to the hospital or directly to the doctor, they pay directly. And if I don't want them to pay directly to the hospital or to whatever thing I need to pay, I can always ask them to send it to my PayPal because I'm an affiliate. I also get my affiliate income 
in PayPal from Safety Wing. So there's multiple possibilities to do this without having a bank account, guys. So Safety Wing is the link down below, travel tip, and also answering one of the questions. The second question that was asked is, Didi, with how many percentage do you trade with your portfolio, of your portfolio? So to be very clear, I have repeatedly said this, I only trade with around 25 to 30% of my portfolio. The rest is in long time storage, staking or investments. 25% are being used to play, to trade, to trade altcoins, to trade bitcoins on decentralized exchanges like Apex Pro or on Bybit, for example. Mainly on Bybit, because I really love Bybit as an exchange. You can use the link down below to sign up. You can claim up to 30,000 US dollar in bonus. But I also trade on decentralized exchanges like Apex Pro. For example, I opened these two trades in January. Check the results. I'm up 2,000% on my Dogecoin trade. I'm up around 500 or 600%, I think, on my Chainlink trade. So yes, I trade continuously, but only with around 25% to 30% of my portfolio. The rest, safe play. So that was the answer to those two questions. Let's now jump into the next part. I read really cool news today about a hospital worker that stole around $2.5 billion Bitcoin by um, whitewashing that Bitcoins through real estate and everything. So this is a health worker that was living above a Chinese store uh, with one or two bedroom apartment a few years ago. And now she was renting like a five bedroom apartment in the center of London. She wanted to buy a $30 million house, etc., etc. When she wanted to buy that $30 million house, she was caught and she was caught money laundering bitcoins so around 2.5 billion dollar worth of bitcoins were money laundered because of her and of course she will be punished for doing that because of course you can use bitcoin for a lot of things but when you use bitcoin for illegal stuff you can get punished and her punishment will be prison i think she will get like a long time prison because believe me money laundering of 2.5 billion dollar worth of bitcoin is a shitload of bitcoin and is a shitload of do dollars so the punishment will be harsh and i do think that we need to get rid of all these scams in crypto and all these people that use crypto for illegal things let's keep bitcoin a fun thing that is used by us for legal stuff and let's make bitcoin a legal tender all over the world so that we don't run into this strange discussion against with feds and governments that Bitcoin is only being used by criminals because these cases like this woman they prove that yes indeed Bitcoin is used by criminals and the lesson that you need to learn from this situation is if you have a shitload of profits because of Bitcoin don't buy a 30 million dollar mansion just rent it when you rent they will never investigate you when you buy certain real estate or certain very luxury car you will run into investigations because they will see this on your balance they will say hey how can this guy be driving this car how can he be owning a 30 million dollar mansion when you rent they won't ask you anything because the rent you can pay from your monthly income so that was the third tip for today now let's jump into the next part The last part is the inspirational parts. My hands are freezing, so I'm going to go walk inside as well, guys. Uh, but the inspirational part for today, every avalanche starts with the movement of one snowflake. And me, myself and I want to be that one snowflake. You should want to be that one snowflake as well, because everything in life that you want to achieve will need to start with one movement, one snowflake. When you start, that is when the rest will follow. If you don't start, if you keep running the hands wheel, if you keep running that vicious circle of activities that you're doing every day and again and again, and you will never start to do that thing that you're dreaming of already for all your life, your passion, whatever it is, if you won't start, you will never change this world. And if you want to change this world into a better place for the next generation because of freedom, because of financial freedom, freedom of speech, freedom of anything in your life, then you need to be that snowflake. You need to be that first snowflake that wants to move and create an avalanche. An avalanche that will change the whole world's opinion about a certain subject. For example, the financial world. I want to be that snowflake for the Bitcoin industry. That is why we went all in as a family, to show that we can do it, to show that it's possible to live unbanked with bitcoins that is why a documentary series is going live on amazon prime because they didn't believe it they needed to film it they needed to see it and if you become that one snowflake that will create an avalanche of changes and opportunities into your life 
that is the moment you will find your true happiness. I truly believe that everyone has the passion inside to be that one snowflake, to change the world. Everyone has that passion. Everyone wants a better place. Everyone wants a better surroundings. Everyone wants better possibilities for their children. So my life lesson for today is try to be that one snowflake that will create an avalanche of opportunities for you and everyone around you and maybe people on the other side of the world when it's a digital peaceful revolution like Bitcoin. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and leave a comment. Thank you for watching. I wish you an amazing day and hopefully see you tomorrow again uh, when the sun is shining. And yes, I don't freeze my hand again to record a video, but it was worth it. The view, the experience, it was worth it. Thank you for watching. I wish you an amazing day and see you tomorrow again. Bam.